The Biden administration's border policies are under bipartisan fire as the immigration crisis worsens. 14 House Democrats have joined Republicans in condemning the administration's handling of the situation at the US-Mexico border. Speaker Mike Johnson and House Minority Whip Steve Scalise have been vocal critics, leading efforts to highlight the severity of the crisis. Since Biden took office, nearly 7.3 million migrants have crossed the border illegally, fueling concerns about national security. The divide within the Democratic Party on immigration is evident, with some Democrats expressing dissatisfaction with Biden's policies, such as ending Trump's Remain in Mexico program and limiting ICE arrests. Meanwhile, Republicans argue that these policy changes have only encouraged more migration. Critics of the administration's approach point to the reversal of Trump-era asylum restrictions and detention policies as exacerbating factors in the surge of migrants at the southwest border. They argue that these changes have created pull factors, attracting more migrants to the border. However, the Biden administration contends that it is following the law and upholding moral values by allowing asylum seekers to enter and remain in the country. Republicans are advocating for the reinstatement of Trump-era policies and further restrictions. While Democrats are under pressure to address the humanitarian aspects of the crisis, the passage of a resolution condemning Biden's border policies underscores the urgency for action. Lawmakers are considering the Senate's 118 billion border security package as a potential solution, which includes funding for border security technology, resources for customs and border protection, aid for Central American countries, and legal immigration reforms. In February, House Republicans made history by voting to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, accusing him and the Biden administration of deliberately violating immigration law. The crisis at the US-Mexico border underscores the need for both enforcement and humanitarian solutions. Yet neither side has been able to present a comprehensive plan to address the underlying issues driving migration.